Early Detection and Screening for Lung Cancer in Black Americans. Lung cancer is more likely to be cured when it's detected very early. At early stages, patients often don't have symptoms. Screening is a way to detect lung cancer at this early, curable stage. In a large study, screening found more than half of lung cancers before the patient had any symptoms. Black people who were screened in the study had a lower risk of dying from lung cancer than white people. But compared with white Americans, black Americans are less likely to be screened for lung cancer, more likely to not know about screening for lung cancer, and more likely to not have health insurance. Black Americans may also be less likely to get screened for lung cancer because of mistrust of the medical system. Because of racism and past abuses like the Tuskegee Health Study, in which black men with syphilis were denied effective treatment, there is a sense of distrust among certain members of the black community. Lung cancer is the leading cause of death from cancer for black American men and the second leading cause among black American women. More black American men die from lung cancer each year than men from any other group. Compared with white Americans, black Americans with lung cancer are diagnosed at a younger age, less likely to be diagnosed at an early curable stage, less likely to have surgery and effective treatment for early stage lung cancer, and less likely to live for five years after their diagnosis. The bottom line is, for black Americans at high risk for lung cancer, screening can save lives and the best time to get screened is before you feel sick. You're eligible for lung cancer screening if you're between 50 and 80 years old, and you currently smoke, or you quit less than 15 years ago, and you've smoked a pack a day for 20 years, or two packs a day for at least 10 years, and you have no symptoms that could be caused by lung cancer. Symptoms that could be caused by lung cancer include a persistent cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, coughing up blood, persistent tiredness, and unintentional weight loss. If you're eligible for lung cancer screening, you'll get the most benefit if you have the test once a year. The test is done with a CT scanner and is quick and painless. You lie flat on a table while the scanner takes dozens of pictures. A computer then converts the pictures into detailed images of your lungs. You don't need to fast, get injections, or do any other preparation for the test. You will need to remove any metal you're wearing, such as jewelry. If you're feeling sick, you'll need to reschedule the test for when you feel better. Medicare and most private health insurance plans will pay for lung cancer screening. If you're on Medicaid, you'll need to ask whether your state covers it, as coverage varies state by state. Like any medical procedure, a low-dose CT lung cancer screening test has some risks. It involves a very small amount of radiation, about as much as everyone gets in six months from exposure to Earth's natural background radiation. If the scan finds something, you may need additional imaging tests to find out if it's cancer. In rare cases, the scan may find something that looks concerning outside of the lungs. If this happens, you may need additional tests. Don't hesitate to ask questions about screening for lung cancer. Here are some questions you might have. Why should I get screened when I don't feel sick or have symptoms? Where should I go for screening? How long will it take to get my results? Will someone explain the results to me? And what are the next steps after the test? Talk to a trusted healthcare advisor today about screening for lung cancer. Ask if it's right for you and where you can go to get it. If you smoke, ask about getting help to quit. You'll get the most benefit from lung cancer screening if you also quit smoking.